What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to talk about the top three hacking certifications that I think are really gonna make an impact on your career and pursuit into cybersecurity. Let's get into the video. Also guys, I wanted to show you a new friend that we're gonna be having along in these videos. Um, you'll see him more and more uh, as he grows, but this is Charizard. Everybody say hi to Charizard. Charizard is a bearded dragon um, that I recently got and he hangs out right here with me next to me. So look forward to seeing him more. I'm going to bring you like a lower level certification and then kind of a mid grade certification and then a, you know, top tier certification that you can look to pursue um, in your hacking endeavors. And how I want to kind of bring these certifications to you is either providing you with two different benefits. Either they're going to give you some good training and hands on experience, or it's just going to look great on your resume. So let's go through the list and check out my top three. So the first one on the list is the EJPT by eLearn Security. eLearn Security is becoming a very popular name out there in the cybersecurity space. They provide a lot of great courses and a lot of different level certifications um, into hacking. And now they also provide some certifications for defensive security as well, which is really nice for People like myself that, uh, you know, really don't do that day to day um, red teaming. But, you know, we're interested in learning more about protecting um, the infrastructure and the network. Now, you may have seen if you scroll through my page that I made a video all about this certification um, and with my experience, because I currently have that certification. Uh, it was an amazing experience. It did show me something um, about security that we'll get into. But let's talk about the price first. So one of the most intriguing things about the certification is the fact that it's only $250. I don't say only as in that's not a lot of money. Uh, that can be a lot of money for some people. However, when you're talking about certifications, it's not as much as a lot of other certifications out there that can go up into, you know, multiple thousands of dollars. So for $250, it's a great affordable option for somebody who's just getting started and wants to dabble in hacking and learn exactly how it works. Another thing that I like about this course is it's hands on. Having a certification that gives you hands on training is a huge plus. It's going to teach you exactly the methodology and how you should be thinking as a hacker to infiltrate a network. The scenario that you'll be given is you'll have a couple different servers that you're going to have to penetrate and gather some information. You're going to have a set list of questions. And the only way to answer those questions is to go into the environment and hack your way to find the answers. That's what makes it kind of fun and enjoyable. Now you'll have 72 hours to complete the exam. So you don't have to worry about not having enough time to do it. I think that for the average person, it'll be more than enough time for you. Now I said, some of these are for training purposes. Some of these look good on the resume. This is one of them. And, and this could change as time goes on. But for now, this is one of them. It's for the training. Uh, you're not really going to get too much clout, so to speak, on your resume for having the certification. Now, don't get me wrong. Any certification in cybersecurity is good because it shows that you're pursuing the education still. So outside of that, it's not a headliner certification. This is not something that somebody's going to see and, you know, be wowed by it. But the amount of education and hands on training that you'll learn, jot that down in your resume. I've done videos on resumes before and how you should uh, put some different keywords and experiences and projects on there. This is something if you're, you know, using Nmap, put Nmap on your resume. You got the certification and you learned how to do Nmap. So for anybody that's just getting into security, this is what I recommend. If you want to pursue penetration testing, then this is the one that I recommend for you. Yes, even above the Pentest Plus. Now, the next one on the list is going to be the CEH or the Certified Ethical Hacker by EC Council. This certification has been widely regarded for a long time now, at least the past, you know, 10 years. It's just been a certification that 
is highly sought after and that employers are looking for. Now, we talked about the EJPT. The reason that I have you getting this one after that certification is this one's a little bit more tough. And this certification is also more expensive. Coming in around $1,200, this certification is maybe something that you want to save up for and pursue. Now, unlike the EJPT, this is more of a book knowledge certification. Now, they have added some hands-on work in there, but for the most part, it's kind of a brain dump and it's something that you will learn a lot, maybe not a lot of hands-on work with. The great thing that I do love about the certification, and we talked about this previously the ejpt is for hands-on this one is a great resume builder if you go on a linkedin or you go onto indeed and you type in this certification and search there's going to be thousands of hits because this certification is highly regarded by jobs so if that's something that you're more interested in over getting you know hands-on experience by all means go after this one before the ejpt Maybe do the EJPT afterwards to get some experience with the hands-on work. Either way, you're going to be set up on your resume once you get the certification because it looks good. It looks good enough for an entry level, I would say, into like a junior penetration tester role or something like that. Now, let's move on to the last certification. Now, this is a certification that I think is on everybody's list and is probably regarded as the most technical certification out there that you can get and that's going to be some of you may have guessed it the oscp the oscp is a certification brought to you by offensive security offensive security does a lot of work in the cybersecurity space they have a lot of courses out there a lot of certifications they're well known well regarded this is a certification if you get this you're pretty much going to guarantee yourself a position as a penetration tester because the certification is that hard it's grueling and there is a lot of technicality that is required for it and you're going to have to study for a while to get to the point where this is for you now i just want to revert back a little bit because i said if this is for you something that i learned when i was taking the ejpt is that it wasn't really something that I wanted to do day in and day out. It was more of something that I liked as a hobby. And you might find that in security, that one side you like for hobby, one side you like for work. For me, I like blue for work, red's for hobby. And that's just the way it is for me. It could be opposite for some of you. So keep that in mind as you're going through these certifications you don't have to do, you know, hacking just because you got the certification. It's just good to learn. So jumped off track a little bit there. So back to the OSCP, this certification is going to run you about a thousand dollars. Again, it's kind of steep in price and that's just for the exam voucher. You're definitely going to want to take advantage of their designed course for the OSCP. And I've even heard and read that you want to study before you take that course as well. And you want to get good with hacking. Um, there are different uh, tools out there and different websites that you can use, such as Hack the Box. And there's also lists, if you Google search of machines on Hack the Box that kind of replicate what you're going to see in the OSCP. So you probably want to do that first, then you you know, dive into their course. And then if you feel ready, take the exam. It is a grueling exam. Um, it's very technical, like I said. So what you're going to do is have five machines. I think the last time that I looked at it was five machines that you're going to have to penetrate those five machines. And then you're going to have to write in a report about how you did so, and you're gonna be graded on that as well. So it takes some time, not only to penetrate the machines, but then also to write up a report, which is how it works in the real world. When you are a penetration tester, you need to have a deliverable to give to the client or the company that you have uh, assessed through penetration testing. Now, unlike the CEH, do not pursue this right away. Um, you might just end up wasting 
a lot of money and a lot of time. This is a gradual build and you should really feel prepared and have a very, very good understanding of the hacking methodology if you wanna pursue this certification to save you money. That being said, if you just wanna go after it, go after it by all means. If you think you're ready, you're ready, but understand you could be losing out on some money. So keep that in mind. So guys, I hope that I was able to give you a good um, basic path to the best certifications that you should start with, maybe move to next, and maybe the big dog that you should be looking for when you're actually ready to pursue it. I wanted to give you the opposite side because I have a video about um, you know my top three blue team certifications. However, that list does need to be revisioned. Um, that is from last year. So I'll be having a new one come out soon on the certifications that I think you should be getting this year every year um, companies are coming up and you know they're getting more popularity and they're being noticed more by the cybersecurity world so i will be updating that and you will see that video coming out this year as well guys if you are new to the channel and you're interested in cybersecurity, hit the subscribe button down below come be a part of this family and start learning cybersecurity. Don't forget the bell notification so you'll know whenever I post a new video. That's all I have for this, guys, and I will catch you in the next video. See you later.